the change in mindset for leaders to look at collaboration and partnership uh, as uh, the growth for the company is critical because uh, you know I always believe that the sum of its parts is always larger than whole and uh, you can never do it all. So you think we do all uh, and can all articulate that a collaborative environment now is more important than it was five years ago and is key to success um, on any element but even if you take the basics and, um, and the drive towards sustainability you can't do it alone it requires an interop interoperability between government society customers consumers and organizations and in particular for Asia Pacific uh, where the geography is so diverse uh, and the market is also very different in different parts of Asia Pacific uh, partnership is so critical for you to enter into the new markets. That drive towards a collaborative culture is vitally important. And yet, the structures of an organisation by its very nature, and especially if you take a large um, MNC, um, can be very difficult to create a collaborative culture, especially as you can often be successful by having an internal structure of support rather than an external one. I think the other benefits I see from collaboration and partnership is also the access to new resources uh, and talents uh, of your partners and not forgetting the other part of the uh, equation is also with new ideas, new perspective from your partners, you can also look at new, new innovation. So what you are seeing is those organisations that invest and ensure that their leaders are connected globally outside of their sphere of knowledge are going to be able to outperform and able to form partnerships which will really make a difference. Because a partnership and a collaborative structure means you've got to be prepared to lose and win. And I think that can be very difficult in a more command and control environment.